Bush. <laughs> I love music. I love. My name is uh, Dr. Kwambo. I'm a chemistry lecturer at the Polytechnic in the School of Health and Applied Sciences. My research is really to find a solution to the problems of malnutrition, water treatment problems, and sanitation. Our research has been looking at uh, the use of Moringa tree. This is a tree which is found in the tropics. It is fast growing and doesn't need a lot of rain. As I was saying, it is already known that the Moringa oifera has got a lot of uh, benefits. For instance, as I said, the leaves have got high in, uh, in nutrients. All you have to do is uh, dry the leaves. These are the dry leaves of Moringa which have grown in this country, in, in, which is growing in the window. And then you get the powder, which you can actually put in food as a food supplement. This would eradicate the problem of malnutrition. Then we have got a, a problem of um, water, untreated water, with uh, water with impurities. All you have to do is take these seeds, pound them, get an extract of that, uh, pound them, stir them in water, filter them through a cloth, the filter that comes in, you pour it in dead water and then stir. Leave it, the water, the impure water, with the material poured in for a few minutes. Within the few minutes, the water would clear. What we have found out in our research is that, in fact, the active ingredient, which is a protein in the seeds, is more effective than conventional uh, materials used for water purification. And these have got health and environmental concerns associated with them. So we really want to find something that is uh, environmental friendly, uh, uh, that is biodegradable, and it is sustainable. Because these chemicals we import are very costly. Not many countries can actually, in the developing world, can afford to buy uh, the, the, these, these chemicals. What is the way forward? As I said, we need to get the scientists, the scientists in the country and also the government to come in. And first of all, the first thing we need to do is to study the species that is indigenous to this country, that is endemic to this particular, to this country. Look at its medicinal properties, look at its nutritional properties, and look at its water purification properties. And that way, we can actually eliminate nutrition, we can eradicate poverty, we can create jobs, we can uh, uh, get rid of the problems of sanitation and water treatment problems.